This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got a very special guest with me today, Sophia McGarvey. How old are you? I'm 11. You're 11 years old, and you brought your mom with you. This is yeah. Kathleen Nowicka. Thank you very, very much for joining us. I had a friend of mine, actually, with my daughter, send me a screenshot picture of you on a horse. Yeah. And not just on a horse, you're doing gymnastics on a horse. And what yeah. is that called? What? Vaulting. Vaulting on a horse. Okay, yeah. can you tell us how you got started with doing gymnastics on a horse? Well, I used to do like gymnastics a lot, and then my mom found this sport, um, and we decided to try it just for fun, and then we ended up being like a thing where we just keep doing it, and then it started as like my main priority. Okay, okay. Now, uh, the pictures I've seen, like, you're up on your hands, you're, you're stretching, you're doing the splits, you're doing everything a gymnast would do on the floor, but yeah. you're doing it on a horse, on a moving animal. Yeah. That's got to be hard. Uh, sometimes it can be when you learn a new move, but once you get it, it's way, really easy. Okay. Now, do you have a special horse you do this with? Um, well, you can, well, yeah, technically. You have to, like, train it um, a lot. So it gets in the like. Um, so these are really safe horse that we're using. Um, yeah. We train on a barrel, so it, it's it's literally a barrel where we put vaulting handles on and stationary. Um, we don't put any moves on the horse unless we master it on the barrel first. The horse is our priority. Their safety's priority as well as as the vaulter. Uh, but we're not going to put our horses at risk of any back injuries and. So we're making sure that everything she masters on the ground is moved up to the barrel and then the barrel on the horse. Okay, because I mean it's one thing to learn to ride a horse, the, ho the horse gets used to that, but the horse must have to do some training yeah. to get used to you doing headstands and handstands and yeah. all that sort of stuff on there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now do you, do you have your own horse? Um, <coughs> yeah, we do have our own <coughs> horse that we train with three Blue. times. Three times a week? We three try times week? three times a week. His name is Blue. His name is Blue? Okay, okay. Yeah. Now you just came back from a, a, a competition yeah. in Alberta. Yeah. So, I mean, you live in Ashton, so I mean, you're putting Lanark on the, on the map here when you go out to uh, Alberta to compete. And you, what did you get, a double champion? Yeah. Okay, now, what is a double champion? What does that mean? Well, out of like a lot of people there, um, I went in a group with... We went with Nation Valley, which was the ranch yeah. we were competing as a team. Um, and that's who we started with, um, and we were just putting Ontario on the map. Ontario, I think, was the first time attending one of those type of shows. Um, and yeah, she, I think she did the, the walk and the trot. We tried. We didn't know what we to expect. These out there, it's more recognized. So we just kind of went to, to try it out, and we came back. She came back, and she did very well. Did you get to take your horse with you? Um, no, that time we didn't have... Horse. We didn't oh. have yet our own vaulting horse, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but we rented uh, from Diamond Willow a Farm, and we're still very good friends with them. Uh, Blackjack was our horse that we rented. Um, Super Pony, the big ho pony, no big horse, mm -hmm. sixteen hands one. Um, and Sophia will be competing with Blackjack again at the end of April in BC. Wow, in BC. Yeah. So you got to do some fundraising. That's where I, I yeah. heard about you too. You're doing some fundraising. We You're are. collecting bottles right yeah. now. And uh, how do you want people to get bottles to you? Um, well, honestly, <coughs> you can just like um, email my mom and tell them if they have bottles or not, and we'll just come pick them up. Excellent. So we can return them. Excellent, excellent. Yes, because it, it, this costs a lot of money. It, it, yes, it does, because we were in, B, her coach is in BC, so we Zoom with her. We were there in um, December, because our horse is good, but he's not at the level that she really needs to, to have him at right now. Um, so we read her with her coach in December and then we just came back from a, uh, another session in Alberta at the end of January. Uh, luckily we plan really well and ahead of time. Um, but yes, it's, uh, it's quite uh, expensive uh, to compete at her level right now. And I, I'm thinking too, when you go to a competition and you get on a different horse than you're used to, is, is it different or does it feel it's, the same? Well, we usually arrive there a few days earlier to practice and train on that horse so we get used to him a bit uh, for the competition. Okay, okay. Yeah. And how long have you been doing this? Four, Four years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now tell me, what, what were you thinking when you were doing gymnastics and you decided to do it on the horse? Well, it was like really different. I didn't think 
I would get this far in this sport because I used to do horseback riding. So I thought I'd just stick to that, but now I ended up doing this. So you did gymnastics and you did horseback mm -hmm. riding. You combined the two. That's what we did, yeah. Okay. And it was just supposed to be a joke because she's very bendy. And I thought, well, you're wasting your talent to just riding. And then we saw this ad on Facebook and we we're like, let's try just for fun, thinking we would go back to riding. Uh, we never went back to riding. <laughs> So what's a training session look like when you're on the horse? Like, is it an hour? Is it how long? What, um, what do you do? Usually for us, it's, uh, we do like um, 30 minutes on the barrel, and then we um, do 30 minutes on the horse. So it's around an hour for our lap. Okay, okay. And what's your favorite thing to do? What's, what's um, what do you think you're a star at? I feel like I'm really good at my routine. It's a very fun my routine. And right now I'm learning how to do an aerial off the horse. It's an, like, an aerial. I, I'm thinking like, I know what it is, but I want It's like a cartwheel, but with no hands. And you kind of like have to jump. And you stay on the horse? Um, or you get off the horse? It goes off the horse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. Now, is this the sort of thing you want to do when you grow up, too? Or? Yeah. Yeah? You want to keep doing this sort of thing. What is it you want to do when you grow up? Well, like... <clears throat> oh, you're only 11. You don't have to... <laughs> oh, she's got her life planned. Oh? I'm older. I want to be like the... What do you call the it? The chiro? Uh, like the, yeah, the chiro. In sports medicine or a chiropractor. Wow. Something along those lines. Wow. Yeah. That would be amazing for you to do because uh, you're so involved in it already. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Wow. Good for you. Good for you. Now, once again, you're collecting bottles for a fundraiser because uh, you need some help with it. This has uh, got to be expensive for you to be able to do all this traveling yeah. and uh, <laughs> you know, uh, registering for all these events as well, too. So you're collecting bottles right now? Mm -hmm. And you're only 11 years old, but you're already hoping you can get a job someday to help out your mom with this, right? Yep. Good for you. Good for you. Well, you're going places. I know it. I know it for sure. So we're going to have to have you come back here. Can you come back here after you've had a competition? Tell us what, yeah. how it went? Yeah. Awesome. Well, that'd be awesome. Sophia McGarvey, thank you very much for joining us. 11 years old, traveling Canada, competing in vaulting. And once again, tell people what vaulting is. Well, things like like a gymnastics dance on a horse. Gymnastics dance on a horse. Good for yeah. you. Good for you. Well, thank you, Mom, Kathleen Awicka, thank for bringing for her today uh, from the Ashton area and uh, putting Lanark on the map. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you.